Welcome to the Candy Coated Podcast, where we serve up a sweet blend of girl talk and enlightened conversations with special guests from diverse backgrounds. From travel, food, to friendships, relationships, and family, we'll explore a wide range of topics with a fresh and unique perspective. Join us on this Candy Coated journey as we tackle important issues and have a little fun along the way. Hi, amigas. Welcome back to the Candy Coated Podcast. This is your amiga, Candy. And I just wanted to start off by wishing you all a great start of the month. And I hope that the month of August is great to you all, amigas. I hope that whatever goals you set for yourself, whether it's personal, work, or long-term goals, that you are achieving those goals. We're getting closer to the end of the year And we're only about, what, four or five months away from the end of the 2023 year. And remember those goals that we set for ourselves at the beginning in January. So, amigas, guess what I did for the very first time in my life? I attended a woman networking event. And if you know me, like I mentioned before, I've learned to love my own company and I wasn't used to going to places by myself. So I took an extra step and I attended this networking event by myself where I met some of the most selfless women and just empowered women out there. And it gave me the opportunity to meet people that talk about their struggles and how that everything that shines hasn't always been shining and like it takes time people aren't born into the position that they're in today sometimes people are don't get me wrong but sometimes people work hard every single day of their lives to be where they are now and when I first saw this event I was a little hesitant I was like Should I go? Should I not? I was really debating because, again, I was shy. I didn't know anybody that was going to go. So I made the decision and I was like, you know what? I'm going to go. So I got my ticket and I really didn't think about it because I didn't want to be nervous going into the event, right? So this event was at a, a venue And it was actually hosted by the Pumpa Sisters. If you know who they are, I met Melissa over social media. And she is just really humble and very helpful and just really motivational. And so she invited me and was like, yeah, you should come. It's going to be great. Like we always do this so we can create a space where women that are starting their business or going through their business or maybe had like a setback. Creating this space allows people to connect and share, whether it's their Instagram handle, whether it's their websites, or even their business cards. I've never been to a networking event, so to me, it was fairly new. Just so you can get an idea, when I first got there, I checked in, let them know that I was there, got my goodie bag, I went and sat down in an empty table, and then like, Five, ten minutes later, all of the other girls arrived. And so we just started to connect. We introduced ourselves, who we are, what our business is. And we just started talking, exchanging uh, business cards. So, you know, after we ate, more girls started joining us. We started to connect and started talking about what each of them do. And I'll get into depth about what each of the girls that I sat next to we just connected we clicked we were able to simply we grabbed margaritas and we started taking shots and we got into the personal level of like how many kids do you have and if you're married I feel like sometimes people don't like to talk about that right they're very like superficial stuff like let's just what we're here for but on as your table our table was the last one to leave and we were still trying to make plans but you know it was Sunday so we couldn't really make plans like that so this event was 
just amazing at the simple fact that I was able to connect and meet these women that they have their own business. They have created something from the bottom up. And like I said, everybody wants to start a business. And, you know, sometimes we don't know where to start, how to start, and it takes time and people struggle. Some people don't struggle. And learning from other people and seeing what other people go through helps a lot because you should always know that there's room for everybody to grow. There's potential in everybody to be great. Don't ever belittle yourself or put yourself down because someone told you that you're weren't able, you're not able to do it. So this event really opened my eyes and opened my mind that there is a whole world out there of women that want to help each other grow. And everybody had their own way of being successful and their own business. And to me, It was such a great experience, like I said before, just meeting all of these ladies and getting to know. After getting to know them, there was like giveaways and treats and margaritas. And so now I'll tell you all a little bit about what each of the amigas that I met at this event does. So there was Maria, who is a permanent makeup artist who does like the lip blushing and the ombre powder brows and her work is just amazing and i'll make sure to tag each of these ladies underneath the post so you all can give them a follow and just support them as well and then there was lourdes who has her own beauty brand she sells lashes lipsticks jewelry and she also does commercial real estate which i think that's so cool There was also Mariana, who has her own like sweet treats business. And she does a chocolate covered strawberries, the chamoy candy. So she does like treat tables. There was also Alex, who is a massage therapist. She has her own massage business. She's also an accountant. There was Deborah, who does hair at the Embellished Hair Studio. And Leslie, she she also does hair at the Embellished Hair Studio. And there was also Ceci, who her family owns an AC business. And this just gives you an idea of the broad variety of businesses that are out there. We think that, oh, just because she does this, I can do that. No, everybody does their work their own way and they all stand out in their own way. And these ladies were just so much fun. And honestly, they're so selfless, so fun and joyful. And they just made the event a hundred times better because they were friendly and we all just kind of vibe. And so I think that this event was just really great to be able to see and connect with other people and learn about their struggles. Our guest speaker was actually Maris- Marisol Herrera, who is Chingo Bling's wife and she talked about how she always knew that she wanted to be a businesswoman and looking at people around me and just seeing how entrepreneurs have that in them you know whether life made them be that way whether they were pushed to learn how to be an entrepreneur I think that there are no words for people that just push themselves from when they're little to now that they're grown up and want to pursue certain things. It was just a great perspective to see where people come from. I think that we always see social media. Oh, they're super successful and like they have all of these followers. And reality is we don't know what it took to to get where they are at. And everybody can be successful if they put in the work. And all those people that have the followers, the likes, the success that they have now, it's they put in hard work. And sometimes people don't don't see that. They think, oh, de la noche a la mañana, they became super popular on, on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok. And in reality, it's no, like it takes time. It takes time to create content. 
It takes time to find your niche, to find what people like to see from you. And so this event just opened my eyes, motivated me even more. And I want to thank the Pompa Sisters once again. Like I mentioned, Melissa and Odalis are both realtors. Karina is the owner of Embellish Hair Studio. And they do amazing work there. And so I think that it's really great to see that these sisters join forces together to create a safe space for people like us. I think that we'll often go through life and see, oh, okay, she made it. And it's not about being competitive. I see people always wanting to put down, especially women, wanting to put down other women. And no, like we should be helping each other out. I love to like, share, comment. If there is any way that I can support you in your business, I'm all for it. If it's a shout out, if it's recommending you, whatever it is that I can do to help, I'm going to do it. And so I want to push you all to join these networking events. Even if you're nervous and don't know what to expect, Again, I can't say that all of the events that you'll go to are going to be as great as this and you're going to find an amazing group of girls like I did. But I think the step, the first step that you should take is look for these events and attend these events. Make the time to go because you don't know who you're going to meet. And honestly, I was just amazed at meeting these people for the first time being able to click with them and talk to them. And we are looking forward to hanging out again. So I think that just says a lot about, one, be open. Be very open. Be friendly. Don't go there with, like, a resting bitch face. Be open-minded. And even if you're nervous, smile. Because people catch on to your vibes. And even if I was nervous, I don't think that I was showing it or con cara de amargada, I really tried to talk. And that just really opened my eyes that there's potential in everybody around me and also in myself. When I mentioned that I had a podcast, everybody was like, could this be a topic or what do you talk about? And just seeing that people are interested makes me me excited to keep on pushing and keep recording episodes for you all. Because I know that there is an audience out there that wants to listen, that wants to connect with what I have to say. And so just to keep this episode short and sweet, I want to remind you all that I'm going to tag all of these amazing women underneath the Instagram post. So make sure to go visit my Instagram page after you listen to this episode and go give all of these ladies a follow on Instagram, go support them because the only way for us to keep pushing as Hispanic, as Latina community is with each other. So remember, don't put other women down. Don't put yourself down. Keep pushing and whatever goal it is that you have, go and get a girl. Go and do it. You are your own competition. Don't ever look at anybody else and what they're doing. Focus on yourself. Focus on what's around you and don't let negative thoughts flow through your head. Ignora los girl, because si siempre les haces caso a la negatividad, nunca vas a sobresalir porque it's your own thoughts telling you that you cannot do it. And if we were to do that, then we would get nowhere. So this is your reminder to get up and do what you always long to do, what you always wanted to do. And be happy and start that process. If you want to start a business, research about what you want to do. Not not ask for answers because people are not always willing to give you the answers. And so I think it's better when you sit down and you research the market, the audience that you want to reach. And so with that being said, I want to wish you all a great rest of the week and we will be in touch next week. Bye, amigas. 
Hi, amigas. Thank you for watching my video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me um, on Instagram at The Candy Corded Podcast, Apple, Spotify, YouTube, and TikTok as The Candy Corded Podcast. And also visit my website, candycoredpodcast.com. As always, thank you so much for all the love, the support you give me. And I hope you have a great day, amiga. Bye.